Hello and welcome back. So last example we have understand about uh, employee service. Okay, so how employee service is going to fetch data and uh, connect to the uh, pipes component and binding there. Okay, uh, so today uh, in this video we will see another concept that is very very important part of uh, Angular that is called observable. So what is observable? Okay. Uh, easy to understand I tell you this is what observe so it's observing right it's kind of like that uh, observable is a sense as it's, it's like uh, the asynchronous asynchronous data so your service will be observing the server to fetch data it's like asynchronous streamed data Okay, it's like continuously streaming. It's like a uh, like packet by packet. It's reading the data from server. So to understand in a better way, for example, I will take another diagram. So let's take this is your component. Okay, and this will be your service, and this will be your server and database as well. Okay, so let's take this guy as component. And this is service, Angular service, and the, uh, oh, come on, Angular service, and this is the server. Okay, or you can take DB, server and DB both here. Okay, so now, uh, as of now, we are maintaining the data from local, right? Till now, when the start of our Angular codes, we are having a data of our own local. So generally what happens you must receive data from server Okay, if you have until unless you have a local data, it will be always uh, fixed. You can't change it Okay, it's like a static data. So in real time generally you receive data from server. It's like a dynamic data So how can you receive data from the server in angular? Uh, you remember for form handling we have a separate module called forms module, right? same like that in angular if you want to fetch data from any server so we need to have uh, one separate module that is http client module okay so if you want to fetch data from the server we have to depend on a http client module so first you declare this client module in an app module that's the first step okay uh, what is the importance of this client uh, http client module is to receive data from server or to send data to server so any server interaction with your angular application so this will be your angular application and this will be the backend server okay so your angular application your angular application is in connection is you if, if you are angular application want to connect with any backend server you need to have this HTTP client module okay and then uh, using this client module we can send uh, you remember angular is a, a single page application so what a single page application is uh, any transaction you happen any kind of request and response happen between the client and server your application with the backend server you never see a page refresh so why why can't you see a page refreshes is happening is internally Ajax calls okay from your angled application to the server it's happening ajax call but uh, we don't directly do the ajax calls by ourselves like a, a regular HTTP, uh, xml http request or a fetch api or axios uh, we we can't use that because angular has given a separate module the dedicated library in the form of http client module and we can only send the ajax request through this one okay so how the flow works is simple my uh, if you want to get data from server first service okay you write logic in service to fetch data okay so this service will send a request let me take a different color okay server will send a request to server and what type of request for example get request uh, we have a different http methods like get to post to put to delete and all so if you want to fetch data from server is a get request you want to add something to server is post you want to update is put and you want to delete something get server says is delete so get request sent to server and once a get request sent to server 
server will be responding with data okay so for example you get the response back from the server and how does the service will receive the response from server is in the form of observable 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 is is like streaming of data it's like continuous data will keep coming from the server okay it's keep observing the data from the server observable so now the service is send a request and is observing the data from server for example if you have some updated server side data so automatically service detects okay what update happened for example uh, you you add a new row in database and in your server detects that right so any update happens a server side if new record come service will detect it automatically because it is keeps observing the server url for data okay uh, this is server story with server then how come the component can receive the data from service now if it is observing data service will have data but i need the data to be display in my components ui so how the component will receive data from services the component should have to subscribe to subscribe to your service subscribe to service uh, same story uh, for example if you want to get some new notifications from my youtube channel so i'll be keep doing some videos okay it's like i'm keep uh, uh, generating some content and if you want to get the notification when updates happen okay so how you notify you need to subscribe to my channel same story your component has to subscribe to the service to keep receiving the updated data is keep receiving the updated data from server no so that data you want to keep it updated for the component as well so this guy has to subscribe so until unless you subscribe you can't receive a data from the service so that way so the story uh, complete behind this angular app and server connection is you need to add a http client module okay and using this client module uh, you can send a http get request or any request to server server response with a raw data or it's like a streamed data asynchronous stream data so that is called observable and service will receive data from server is a part uh, is a, is a uh, is type of observable and how the component will receive data from services you must need to subscribe to the service to receive data and once you receive data we know how to bind uh, the data to the html and uh, i mean the ui part template okay that we'll see so let's take an example so how uh, can we fetch data from the service to the component and how can you display that on the ui so we'll take that part in the next video thank you